Shalom, shalom to all the house of Israel. Okay, before I start, I'll turn to the east and I'll give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kapadash. Alright, double honors to the to the apostles, okay, and the, the elders who teach and rule well. Okay, peace and salutation to the Kiam, Akiam, and the Gabarayam, the warriors who are in the lock and who are preaching the this truth, you know, all over the, the world. Okay, in the highways and the byways. Alright, and uh Shalom Wahab to the brothers, the Akiam and the few sisters, the Aquafiam that we have that are keeping it hundred, okay, in um, in the truth and sincerity, okay. I'm the brother Yarazakal, and today we'll be talking about the belt, okay? The belt, man. Because in this truth, you can easily lose your belt, you know, because this truth like is like a, a wheel of time of turmoil. It's like a roller coaster, you know, because obviously the object when you come in the truth, okay, is for you to be shaping, okay, or mold into you know something or a vessel of like a gold vessel or a diamond vessel of like a precious stone right so if you know diamond diamond like it's just a stone like any other stone but that stone is found itself right in the heat like under the earth right and that 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 stone undergo like a, a high amount of pressure high level pressure and that pressure create diamond all right and then when you get a diamond you have to polish it you know what i'm saying and the more you polish i believe the more the value or something the more you can you know increase the value the more you can work with it i'm not like a a, a specialist when it comes to diamond but you know i think so and when it comes to gold gold has to be purified in war uh, in uh in 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 um how do you call it Gold has to be purified in, uh, through fire, man. Okay? And also, even, even silver, right? The, 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 the pure silver is the one that you can see yourself through. You can see your, a reflection of yourself through it. You know? And it has to go through fire. It's placed in the middle of fire. You know? And the guy has to hold it. You know, the silver guy has to hold it until he can see himself. In the silver, that's when, you know, that's when you know that the, 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 the purification, you know, when it comes to the silver, is complete, it's completed. And that's why when you go through things in life, when it's hard on you, like the time when it's hard on you, that's because the Mosai is the closest. Because the Mosai is fire as well. The more the more the Mosai come, come near to you, you know, it's like you're being purified. So the more you're going through things, that's because the most is close to you. That's because what is working with you. All right. So today, uh, my message to the brothers and the sisters. Okay, in such time, and if you know it's right now, everything is relaxed. You know, and that's the time where you have to be sober, cause you know the enemy, uh, the, the the nature of our enemy is like. You know, the snake nature. So basically what happened at the snake, he comes around you like that. The python. And before you know it, he puts you to sleep. Alright? And then after that, you know, you're weak and then he swallow you. So he doesn't swallow you straight away. He puts you to sleep first. You know what I'm saying? And right right now, a lot of people, if you're not if you're not careful you be put to sleep. This is the time where you can get a good job, you can get a situation. Right now in LinkedIn, for example, you know, I'll read precept. I'll just, you know, that's the introduction. You know? Like, the, 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 the Vanessa is not compulsory anymore. So, you know, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of jobs right now. There's a lot of opportunity. For some reason, because of the, uh, of the what you know, the vid 19 I would say that, the vid 19 okay? A lot of people... You know, who were doing certain job like they kind of left, you know, went back to their country, whatever. And there's a void, there's a there's there's a, there's an opportunity for people to gain a job. So people are getting a job, whatever. If you look if you look for job, you can find it. You know, 
And then um, this is the time where you started to get some money you can save and things like that. And boom, now your mind goes into Babylon mode. And before you know it, you know, the elements of Babylon will swallow you, man. Because one thing about comfort, comfort takes you away from the truth easily if you're not, if you're not focused. All right? So the fact that everything kind of get back to normal is a, 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 a snare in itself. And the men of the Lord have to be watchers, man. You know? So the title of my of my of my of my edification is Don't Let the Enemy Rob You of Your Belt. Okay? Of your belt, man. And what is that belt? The belt is the belt of the truth. Okay? That belt is the belt of the truth, man. And um I was listening to the brothers, I mean the, the elders, and they were talking about Nate, you know. Nate of um, IYC, the leaders, and he told them, you know, what, because they, they, they started together, like they were in, in a camp together. So he was telling them he had a dream where he has lost his belt. You know what I'm saying? He has lost his belt, man. And if you have a dream, if you have a dream where you lose your belt, this is when this is, this is time to like start it. Like if you have to do like 48 hours fasting, go for it, or 24 hours, like, or three times a week, like Monday, Wednesday or Friday or something like that fast because that's very significant 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 right it's very meaningful right very meaningful man and that's what we're gonna be talking about because it's easy to lose your belt there's brother that's dropping out of the truth man you know because you know there's so much temptation and so much testing that come with the truth if you're not focused if you don't if you're not strong like mentally Spiritually, if you're not strong, if you're not strong, brother, you know, it's only a matter of time before you fall, man. But if you understand that, you know, tribulation is actually a good friend of yours. A man of the Lord, all right, supposed to understand tribulation. Trials and tribulation are a good friend of yours, man. When they knock on your door, open the door. Because that's what you make, that's what will make you great. But you see, when you go through things, right? You have a different mindset. When your life is pressure, you have a different mindset. But when your life is comfort, you tend to be, you know, taken away by the gals, you know, and the seduction that comes with Babylon. Babylon has a lot of seduction. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna read the Bible, man. We're gonna read. We're gonna read. We're gonna read the Bible. You know, because that's that's the most that's the most important thing. Because we can be talking, we can talk a good game, but we are, always have to back it up with precept, all right? So we're going to start with Ephesians, okay? I love Ephesians 6, man. It's a very spiritual chapter, you know? Because that's like um, the core of it all, man. That's like the core of it all, man. That's spiritual walk, right? So Ephesians 6 and 12 say, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, all right, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. So you already know, because you have to understand this, right? This government, okay, on a higher level, when they come with decision, it's because they already had a meeting with the high priest on the left hand side. And the high priest, he speak, he was. He summoned demon. Demon come to his yard, man. They have ritual where demon manifests and they tell him what's going to take place this year, for example. They speak to them, man. And then the high, the, the, the high level, you know, sorcerer, the politician, they go and they have a meeting, you know, and they, now they listen to what the spirit told them. So it's the all connected. The high, the the the, the, the government, the shadow government is connected to demons, man. Left hand side powers, and that's real. So when you come in this truth, this these are the thing you have to understand. Because if you under understand it, you're gonna be like a carnal brother. You're gonna be, you know, good with words, but your action gonna show something else. Because you gotta understand, man. 
There is a, a, an invisible host around us, man. They're around us. We don't see them, but they're around. And they're government. And when I'm at work, I can see them. I can feel those energy, how they're trying to drift me away from the truth, which is not going to be easy for them. Because the way the most I did it for me, I don't have no comfort, really. Like I don't have no comfort. Every day when I wake up, I'm faced with discomfort. So I mean, I'm, I'm used to discomfort though. And I operate very well. Some brothers, the way the most I made them, they operate very well in discomfort. But that's the way the most I made them. So, because we're not in comfort, it will be a hard, you know, for the enemy to try to take us out of the truth. But nevertheless, there is a battle against each, you know, man of the Lord's soul, man. You know, you struggle with certain scenes, you're trying your best to get rid of the scenes, but they're always around, always lurking around. That's the struggle, man. Because your soul is precious. Your soul is very precious. And they know that. So they will do everything that they can to take you out of the truth right before the time of refreshing. Right before the time of mercy, man. This walk is very spiritual. That's why, you know, you have to embrace pain. You know, Yahushai was able to conquer death because he embraced pain from the beginning of the ministry. He knew what it was, man. So if you want to follow Yahushai, just know that pain will be your companion, man. It's going to be pressure, pressure, pressure. Now, let's say in the world that pressure busts pipe, but a real man in the Lord, man, he's going he gonna to handle that pressure, man. All right? So verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have it done all to stand, man. Okay? So what is the armor of Yahweh? Is that truth? And that, that armor is linked to the belt. Because when you have an armor, it's like when you have a garment, when you have a belt on your loin, you know, when you gird up your loin, you're, 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 you're more, you're ready, you ain't going to be naked, basically. If you gird up your loin, you ain't going to be naked. That's why the Musa say, gird up your loin like men. Because when you gird up your loin like men, you ain't going to be naked. Okay, so the belt helps put together and maintain the armor, man. Okay, all right. Verse 14 it says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt <laughs> about with truth, all right, and having the breastplate of righteousness, man. That breastplate, man. That's why being righteous, when, it, when you're righteous, it's difficult. That's why. I believe, let me find it quickly before we get back to Ephesians 60, Ephesians 6 uh, and, 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 and 40. Let me go to, I hope I get it. If I don't get it, you know, I'm just going to paraphrase it. But I just want to get, I hope I can get it. That, that would be beautiful if I can get, I can get it, man. All right. So like your Israel. You know, we're going to get it. Um... Is it numbers? Let's see if it's numbers, man. Yep, numbers 23 and 23. And he reads, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what have, what have Yahweh wrought? Okay? So, like Juju, Voodoo don't work again in men of the Lord, man. Because they're doing Voodoo against you, you know. Some people, whether it's at work, whether it's around your family, whether it's Esau does Voodoo against us, man. Esau summons spirit. When you go out to preach, and I know that when you preach, there will summon spirit. Like last time I went there, and I was with the brother uh, uh, Yehikwab, you know, Yehikwab, and then you go, some Edo my so-called pastor and then other, you know, Jake from Ghana. Preaching, preaching. 
And when you watch the video, you saw how we kind of went back and forth with them. Those are spirits that, 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 that the enemy, because you got, you got so, in every area, you got top sons of sorcerers, man. So when they see you as the man of the Lord, they, they, they're going top in the, spirit, in, the, in the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, the, the demon telling them, these are the men of the Lord that come back, that came back again for the, for the final, man. So we in we very important, man. We an important part of this game. So when you you have to be spiritual, that's why I always say to the brothers around me, be spiritual, man. Understand the game you're in, very important. You gotta understand. That's why you have to use the law of wisdom. You gotta read the word, and you gotta also meditate. Also, me personally, this is what I do. I listen a lot to Taha, Gaba. Apostle Taha, Apostle Gaba, Apostle Ramana, Apostle Rokha. Because these brothers, these these, these elders, they were the elders, they, 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 they laid the game down. They were the first to read of that generation to start. So when you listen to them, they've been through so many things that it will make you grow, man. It's very, very, very rich as far as their experience. Something that you can draw, you can take, okay, and really take it as example and as a guide, as like a torch. All right, so you gotta know what you're into, man, because you got demon. But the Bible says that there's no enchantment against us, man. That's if we keep it real. There's no enchantment, okay. So you shouldn't worry about, you know, these people trying to do this, do this witchcraft, or do that against us. That's part of the game. But we gotta keep on doing the work, man. Sometimes they will throw it on you and you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do the work or you don't, it's like you're distracted or you don't have even the strength. Even to do a video, it's, it takes the, the, the grace of the Most High, you know. It takes the spirit of the Most High to do a video. It's, this is not a game, man. This is serious business, okay? Now let's get back to uh, Ephesians. Ephesians. That's why sometimes the most like, like the demon they will bring. Let's say you go you go and preach somewhere, they will bring like a girl, you know, on you like that, or they will bring something else, man. Be careful, man. If, me personally, if a woman step out, unless I know I know her, if a woman come out of nowhere, I'm not even gonna take a number like that, man. Unless the most I clearly tell me, yeah, yeah, I will send her for you. I'm not taking because there's a lot, there's a lot of, of of witchcraft going on. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful, man. You know? Verse 15 of Ephesians 6 say, And you and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Verse 16, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the, of, of the wicked, man. Okay? Of the wicked. Do you understand that? All right, so the belt of truth, man. Verse 14, stand therefore, having your loin girt about the truth. That's the belt. All right, so what do I say? I say, don't let the enemy rob you of your belt. And the enemy comes in many forms. It can be work, it can be a woman, it can be your family, it can be your friend, it can be the, the, the lust, worldly lust. It could be your weakness. You know your weakness. You know what you're fighting with. So you should never let, when you get in this truth, you should count the cost. The Bible says count the cost, man. When someone want to build a house, it count the cost. Will you be able to finish the house? Because you don't want to start a house that you can't finish, man. People will make mockery of you. They will mock you, man. So in this truth, we're stuck in this truth. This is blood in, blood out, man. They're going to have to come for us. You know, because we're not living this truth because this is our way to salvation. We're fed up of this system. Man. There's nothing in this system. I see it all, man. There's nothing. People trying to make any system only to be stuck in a situation. Listen, we may not have the material blessings, but we have a blessing that's, that's worthy, man. Okay? That's worth fighting for. All right? Let's go to Job 38 and 3. Job 38 and 3. Job 38 and 3 say, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. 
So when the Most High calls you, He calls you to be a man. And a man gonna have to go through pain. A man gonna have to be go through loneliness, isolation. Okay, sometimes sickness. Sometimes you feel like you're against. It's like it's you against the world. Okay, like Pac say, me against the world, man. But little that you know, right? The most has building, building your spiritual side of things, building your character, building your personality. Building your, your ability to withstand, to be strong, and to be sure of who you believe in, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Mosa is raising up excellent men. Mosa is raising up rulers, aristocrats, kings, prophets, influencers, man. He raising up gods, because there's many gods. I was saying in uh, uh, Psalm 82 and 6, D, uh, you are God, or you die like moral, man. So we're morals right now, but we're gods. we got to be humble with it. But this is what the Mosai is doing. This is what he's raising. This is a who is raising up, man. you gotta be, you got to go through pain. To be a soldier, you got to go through a transformation, man. Metamorphosis, you know, and it takes pain to do that. So that's something you gotta understand, okay? Let's go to Peter, First Peter, okay? First Peter one. First Peter one. First Peter one. Let's start at thirteen. You know, and he reads. Wherefore, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahusha Mashiach. As obedient children, now fashioning yourself again according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manners of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy, man. So we trying, you know, we striving to be better. That's what the most I saying. Basically, you want to be better than yesterday. You want to be looking at yourself in the mirror and say, and having the, we call it mea culpa in French. I don't know how they call it in French, in English, where you're meditating and you put in your, your life before you and you can see that, wow, that's why I say always there's a list that you, you're you making when you're in the truth and you look at the, 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 you can, you just put the cross on certain, and it feels good to put a cross on adultery, for example. You know, it feels good to put on the cross on more li on lies. For example, before you couldn't, face people so you always have to lie but now you can face people and tell them what it is man you don't have to compromise it is what it is with you you can call up on meeting you can look at people in the eyes and tell them the truth about how you feel about things that's being a man you know you don't fight with certain things you don't when you see a woman with, with a big behind you don't just follow her like with your with your you know the little head but you use the big head now you're more strategic you grown, you know. Obviously, the same element in your life where it's hard, you're still fighting. But overall, you can see the change, man. That's what he's talking about in First First Peter one, you know, thirteen and sixteen, man. The former, because you used to do things due to ignorance. Now, like they say, you know better, you do better. So every day is a fight to do better. Then when you go to work, when you deal with family, with friends, with businesses, with the environment, with the element, with life, sometimes you find yourself stuck because you're in Babylon. But it's beautiful because it's an exercise, a daily exercise where you want to be, because the most I put you in a certain situation to, to, so you can, you can learn how to maneuver in Babylon so you can still have that integrity, man. So you don't lose your integrity. And that's a beautiful struggle, man. Okay? Let's go to Jeremiah first. I mean, Jeremiah 1. Okay? Jeremiah 1. <coughs> Jeremiah 1 and 17. And it says, 
Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at the faces, lest I confound thee before them. And as for people that brothers that go out, man, you have to tell the truth. People will come and try and intimidate you. You have to stand your ground and let them know that you're the new kid on the block, man. Because they've never seen the brother we, we you know, wearing certain things like wearing garments and feeling like that every Saturday, going out there to preach. With confidence. You gotta be confident. And your confidence laid in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's why it's called the Amma One. Amma One is faith. Faith is confidence. The reason why you're confident is because you know that you're sitting on the rock. You know that you're sitting on a firm foundation. So when you're out there, you don't fear none. You don't fear none. And even the way you deal with situations in life is different. You're all vibrant. People can see that you're, you're very confident. And they can see that. They will tell you that. Say one thing about you. You're confident, man. But in the world, we weren't confident because we were lost. But in the truth, we found our confidence, you know. And that's the beauty of this truth. So me, to me, it's a blessing to be this truth because now you're vibing on that king level. But on the, on the low level, meaning like you're a king, but you're humble. Because life made you humble. You don't have much. A king in his worldly system has a lot. He has money, he has access, he has the keys. To the city, but the king in his prophetic realm is like when you look yourself in the mirror, when you look at when you meditate, you know who you are, but when you look at your life, you know, you live it kind of like in a poverty state in a way, like you know, a poor, poor righteous man. That's what the most I made of that's because you know. He's got a crown that's waiting for us, you know, and that crown is eternal, man. So obviously, that is our test, the lower state we're in right now. And that's, that's our lot. And we should be happy because we builders. We understand that what we're building is eternal, man. So we're forsaking the moral crowns. And we embracing the mortal crowns. You know? Okay, let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 6. 1 Peter 5 and 6. 1 Peter 5 and 6. Alright, 1 Peter 5 and 6. So like here as well. And you say, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh that he may exalt you in due time. And that's what we're waiting for, man. And that's the last priest that I'm going to read. You know, and that's what we're waiting for. You know, right now we're going through pain. People don't understand us. I'll tell you something, man. People know who you are because I... I'm, I'm from Africa's, right? I'm from West Africa. And uh, obviously I grew up with certain brothers and that. And then obviously I'm the only one that's in the truth, right? So you go, they're all over the place. They're in France. They're in Sweden. They're in Europe. They're in America. And some of, a lot of them are in Africa. So we go like a, like a little crew, like a WhatsApp group where we talk. And, you know, we help each other. Like if someone lose a parent, we came money together, like thing like that. And now I'm like, you know what? After all, I'm a human being, right? So, you know, I'll just deal with it. But I don't talk much because the first time, you know, during the COVID-19, when I started to speak about the truth and that, they kicked me out of the group. But then they, they said, oh, yo, you're, my, you're our brother, we're going to get you back in. But I don't, I don't say much because I know that if I start talking, and you can see the little subliminal that they're sending in freedom because they know that I'm, I have a different spirit. Probably know me, you know, you know, basketball guy, or I used to play basketball, whatever, but they know that it's the, you know, I used to be very worldly and that, you know, but the most I took away the worldly stuff right now, I don't even need, I'm not the type of guy to be trying to be fly. I don't even need, like if I go a gene, I'm good. If I go to one or two gene, I'm good. I'm not the type of guy to be, you know, 
But they know that the brother changed, but they ain't gonna come out and say it. So us now, hard test is to be ourselves in the midst of all of that. Because it's easy to be influenced, you know. You go a bit of money, you wanna do this. It's good to, to, to dress, you know, some people dress, dress, do your thing. But always let people know when they're around you, they know what time it is, man. They know your priority. They know that you already, you know, gave a price to your life. And you give your price to your life, it's the election, it's to make sure, you know, it's to, it's to make sure that your election, you know, is guaranteed, man. You know? And that's what we own until the Mosai, you know, rise, raises up, man. So that was the little edification of today, you know. Don't let anyone rob you of your belt, man. Because the truth is your belt, okay? If you go like a, a trouser, and if you don't put your belt, sometimes you're trying to be a bit big, okay? You, the trouser going to fall and they're going to see your nakedness, right? So the truth is the, is the thing that holds, you know, that makes sure that you don't get naked out there. Because it's about to be serious, man. The prophecies are popping up for everywhere. You know what's going on right now. So, brothers and sisters, let's stay in the truth. You know, we the men of pain. We the men, we're going through a lot of things. But we stay strong because it's not us, but it's the most that allows us to be that strong, man. All right? I hope you are edified. And I, I will see you soon for another exhortation, edification. All right? I'll turn to the east and I'll give all praises to Yahweh. Ba Shem, Yao Shai, Waha, Raha, Pradash, Huom Yeshua Allah, Shalom Israel.